This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hey, we need some competition. Go out and create your own video show, spirit review blog. Just get your domain at GoDaddy.com. Use code EDDR3 and your .com domains will be $7.49. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're creating the Slow Co. Screw this recipe. Wow. Did I really write that? M-U-B, either 101 or I-O-I. I'm going to go 101. I can't read my writing, but M-U-B, 101, I-O-I, going 101. Uh, This recipe's for you. This recipe has one and a half ounces of slow gin. This is a brand new bottle of slow gin. I don't remember. I'd have to go back to the tape to see if I finish off the last one. It could be back there. Around here someplace. I don't remember. So we got a new bottle. Crack it open. Yeah. There you go. Uh, We got two ounces of Southern Comfort. This is like the second week in a row. We're going to burn through that bottle. One ounce of Galliano. We haven't used that for a while. It's this big old obnoxious one. We've got a... I don't know if you can see this, but it's a uh, a maraschino cherry. And we're going to top it with OJ. That's it. So we're going to shake it, we're going to strain it, we're going to put it in our Collins glass. We're going to try it out, see what it tastes like. Whoa! I'm going to clean. Now this is a lot of, um, what is this stuff? See, this is going to cause me, this is what makes it sticky when you do this after you've just poured it. Thanks. It makes it really hard to get off Now that you know what it does, you should do it. I know. Uh, If I had like a paper towel... Oh, look, you do. Ah, yeah, but to do this every time, uh, two ounces. You probably want to do that after you pour it. I was showing you the action. Two ounces. I never really thought about that. That's a lot of, a lot of cocktail. Here. This one's for the fans. See that? Uh, what else we need? We got some Galliano here. One ounce. See, that one's getting... Whoa. And we'll top with OJ later. For now, we'll ice it. Make sure that's on good. Nice and red, look at that. So red, it keeps the glass tainted red. Tinted. Tinted, yeah. Taint's a whole different word. It is a whole different word. All right, let's see what we get in here. It's like the red devil. It's my OJ. It makes a lot more than I thought it was going to. Hmm. That's pretty neat. Looks very much like last Friday's cocktail. Wow, the ice is just floating right to the top. Pretty cool. It's got that slow berry, black licorice, anise. Anise. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You throw it right in there. Whoa. That's powerful. This is not doing anything, by the way. Didn't it just it seems would. like the right thing to do. That took like 10 seconds or more before the potency of the Southern Cover kicked in. Um, the finish... You're getting that that cough medicine style finish. And we did have some comments saying, oh, when I was a kid, I had lots of cough medicine. I'm um, not sure if that's how to take that. There is that black licorice component that uh, the anise, the, the fennel, which you get out of here. Yeah, I think he even calls it out someplace. However, it's not as strong in potency as if you had used an absinthe where that's like right up in your face, like 
on top of the potency that usually plays into that drink. More subtle, but still enough to find that if you don't like Galliano, you're probably not going to get away with drinking this. It doesn't hide that well. So you get some of that slow gin berry. You get a, a bunch of second tier uh, southern comfort that kicks in with a nice taste of the, the black licorice that plays in there. The, I don't really get a lot of orange juice at all. Probably texture. Makes it a mm. bit thicker. It does thicken it up a little bit. Not as much as like a blender, obviously, but and it's still not as much as like a pineapple. I'm telling you, that second tier taste that comes in, it's pretty potent. Pretty tasty. So there you go. That is the Slowco screw. You've got your Slowco as your primary component in that. So be a fan of Southern Comfort before you, did I say Slowco? Soco. Um, it's a play on the word. Anyway, everyday it drinkers. It's, was it? No, they're cocktails. Slow co. It's no, slow. You said it was a play on the words. I said it was a mistake. Oh, mine was, yes. yes. But the name, it really is a play on the words. I understand that, yeah. And I could do that because I wiped this off. Anyway, everydaydrinkers.tv, we're teaching you how to drink.